Late Night Health continues. Um, as we wrap up this first hour of our show, we're very, very honored to uh, have Linda Pura on. Linda is the co-founder of the Susan G. Komen uh, chapter here in the Los Angeles, California area. And the reason we've got her on for the whole network is take a look at Su- Susan G. Komen in your town, because I know that they'll have a race for the cure coming up in your area. Uh, here in the Southern California area, Los Angeles, March 12th is the day. 20 years. Wow. Uh, Linda, welcome to Late Night Health. Well, good evening, and thank you. How did you get involved with starting a chapter of the Komen Group? Well, I had a dear friend who was suffering and being treated for metastatic breast cancer. And a friend of mine said, you know anything about the race for the cure? And I said, no, I never heard about it. And so we decided to find out what we could, and that's how it all started in 1995, in the summer of 1995. Amazing. And with your background as a nurse. Yes. Did this just kind of gel for you? Well, it's very interesting. My background is in critical care nursing. Cardiology is my specialty. And so this was a new field for me and a real eye-opener and uh I was um, very grateful to get back into women's health, which I had done as a public health nurse, but never done throughout my major career. You moved from uh, back east, New Jersey, we just talked about that, to Los Angeles. How long ago? (laughs) I hate to say it, 1967. (laughs) Yeah, I've been here for years, so has Daryl. We beat you. (laughs) <laughs> um, but when you when you moved out here, and uh, were you did you work at one of the major uh, medical facilities? Yes, I was one of the first uh, cardiac care nurses at Cedars of Lebanon, uh, which was in Hollywood, which is now the Cedars bright blue. Sinai, uh, well, it's Scientology. Yes, but, uh, we moved across town, and uh, of course, Cedars of Lebanon uh, joined with Mount Sinai and became Cedars Sinai Medical Center, and. In, in and which is a world class traditional allopathic health health uh, system. The the race for the cure coming up. Why should people participate? Well, it's very interesting. It is one of the few races that supports an organization that gives seventy five percent of the net proceeds back to the community in. And the community happens to be the county of Los Angeles because we have people from all over the county who race and even outside of the state of California who come in to race as well. And the other 25% goes back to Coma National's research. Um, Their research and training programs are world-renowned and have made great inroads into the treatment for breast cancer. Uh, the, um, the, the, The race itself is kind of fun oh it's, it's a great deal of fun and we have a 5k and a 10k which we added about three years ago and the 10k makes it really special that's the earliest one the pathways for the race take us through elysian park and around dodger stadium and for the kids they get to run the bases within um dodger stadium as long as they don't step on the grass got it well i it, it, which is interesting i don't know that i could run the bases anymore <laughs> well, it's not the Dodgers are not going to be recruiting you this year. I'm no, sorry, no, they're not. Well, anytime I I, I uh, decide to vote for the Dodgers or or get interested, they lose. Oh. So my my goal is not to think about them and and all. But uh, you know, Chavez Ravine is a, a beautiful stadium and it's a great place to be. Um, uh, who should participate? Everyone can participate in um, the Race for the Cure because we also have a walk for those people who are not that athletic or those people who are perhaps such as our survivors, breast cancer survivors, who are recovering from their chemo or going through chemo or radiation. They can do the walk, the 5K walk as well. So it's every age group, moms with strollers and you know, those who are really fit and can do the 10K race and the 5K race. And if somebody is interested, what is the website for them to uh, check this out on? Our website is comanlacounty.org. L-A, Coman, K-O-M-E-N, L-A, County, dot org, O-R-G. 
That will also be up on our website if you want information. Uh, ComanLACounty.org. I'm Mark Allen. Linda, thank you very much. All right, coming up in the next hour, we're going to talk about diabetes, some new ideas about that. We'll talk with Greg Salea, a regular contributor here at Late Night Health, about when to use natural health care versus traditional health care. That's coming up on the next hour of Late Night Health. If you don't get the second hour, be sure to join us at LateNightHealth.com, LateNightHealth.com. More coming up around the corner. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308. 